our region's business. Innovation, transformation, momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on Our Region's Business, a new book that tells Pittsburgh's 250-year story in pictures, plus navigating an uncertain economy. But first, a new survey of our region's small business owners reveals that many of them are thinking green. Todd Barnhart is back with us. He's Senior Vice President of Business Banking with PNC Bank. And welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Yeah, we were here not long ago talking about the little bit of angst out there, I mm -hmm. guess, among businesses across Pennsylvania about where we're headed economically. Uh, but they, they also really express some very strong feelings about where we're headed in terms of, of, of energy, especially. How so? Right. Well, certainly, uh, as you may recall from the economic survey that we do, energy costs are always something that are top of mind. Uh, for small business owners. So we asked some of them, you know, what are they doing about that? And, and sort of as the whole green movement uh, begins to come more mainstream. And really what we found is that uh, certainly they have some strong opinions on how uh, government and environmental pol policy should work. Uh, but fundamentally at the root of any environmental movement in the mind of a small business owner comes down to not surprisingly saving money. Hmm. How will it work for them and how will it help them improve their cash flow, their business. Time you did the survey, it was what, over the pre-election, right? Over the it was pre-election, uh, late summer, uh, basically. So energy costs were still pretty high. Gasoline, uh, $4, $4 a gallon, dollars, right. And um, so we saw that, I think, show up in some of the recommendations that they made. In fact, uh, one of the strongest sort of recommendations, we, we asked the question in terms of, how would you advise the new administration uh, in terms of solving some of the energy challenges? And uh, perhaps not surprisingly, given that timing, one of the strongest responses was around supporting new drilling. Hmm. Uh, and we really saw it sort of reflect itself in two ways. One is basically increasing the energy supply. And so drilling was one way. And uh, incenting uh, development of alternative energies and nuclear. Uh, but they also were pretty strong in terms of incenting them to save money. Uh, so okay, so yeah. they want to be incented to save themselves money. Exactly. Yeah. So what what basically we had uh, looked to, you know, how do they approach uh, green, you know, in terms of investing that in their business, and uh, certainly again, saving money is top of mind for them when it comes to those kinds of investments. Uh, but when it comes to environmental policy, one of the things that they think would make the most sense, again, not surprisingly. Uh, would be for the government to incent them to invest in energy saving appliances, uh, machinery to uh, basically incent to conserve. So it's very bottom line focus uh, to how they see the environmental green movement playing out from a small business so perspective. So whether or not they make a, a, a green product, I would assume if you make mm -hmm. a green product if the government's encouraging sure. that kind of manufacturing or mm -hmm. service provision, they support sure. that. But even if they're not in that business, they, they like some additional incentive to, to do better themselves. Yeah, really. I mean, I think uh, as we sort of asked the, uh, the group of respondents, uh, about 80 percent certainly put a consideration to the environment in decisions they make around their business. So mm -hmm. that was pretty significant. Now, only about a quarter of those considered a major uh, element to the decision-making process. But within that group, uh, it's certainly something that's becoming more top of mind but for them to shift the way they do things and to maybe make some of the investments they need to make to become more of a green company, they are looking to the government to help uh, and, and help offset that, whether that's through incentives, reduced taxes, those kinds of things. Again, not surprisingly, uh, legislation and regulation did not show up as a very high uh, solution <laughs> to environmental policy. But those tax credits or whatever, exactly. they love that. Exactly. It is interesting, though, on some of this issue about being incented to save. I've seen this with the whole green building phenomenon, mm -hmm. and as, as we're aware, PNC has been a real leader nationally exactly. in terms of building green buildings. A lot of businesses still think you know, it's going to cost you a lot more to build a green mm -hmm. building. You're doing it to be a do-gooder. You're not really, and yet Everybody I've ever talked to who's done it says it flows immediately to the bottom line right. and wind up actually being much more cost effective. It should be a no-brainer. So I wonder if some of this is just not really understanding how cost effective it can be to be green. I think that I think you really hit on it, Bill, that I think there's a educational component to this that will play out over time. So there's a recognition that this is the right thing to do, but it's not necessarily well recognized that it also is a, makes good business sense to do in the minds of the small business owner. So uh, those investments, whether they immediately pay for themselves or pay for themselves in relatively short order, certainly can save them significant amount of money. And when you look back to, again, one of always, even pre the, the big run-up in oil and gas prices this summer, 
energy costs have always been a top of mind concern, maybe not number one, but certainly two or three uh, fairly consistently. And so by making some of these investments, I think it's really getting business owners to understand that this will pay off, not even in the long run, uh, but in the relative short run and sort of really save them money over time. Now, again, at the time you did the survey, gasoline was about $4 a gallon. Mm -hmm. Who knows where the price of oil was, $140 right, right. a barrel, whatever it was. It's a lot lower right now. No the gasoline question. in some places, you know, under, under, under $2 a gallon. Do you think the sentiment would be a lot different if, if you did the survey right at this moment? I would say yes, I, although I think the fundamentals would still be there. Uh, so maybe uh, additional oil drilling may not show up as sort of the, the top recommendation. But I still think you'd see a heavy bias towards this uh, notion of incentives for alternative energy uh, and incentives to conserve and, and invest in green programs uh, for small business owners. So you have a sense, and there is a real understanding, this is a long-term challenge I believe so. issue. I believe so. I mean, one interesting element to it was we did throw some questions in around recycling, which obviously has been around for quite some time. And so that seems to be more ingrained, and people sort of recognize what that can do for the environment. I mean, frankly, it doesn't cost their business anything either to do that. Um, but I think it really is sort of at the front edge, I guess is the way I would describe it, of a green movement in small business. So there's a recognition, uh, but still I think a lot of learning to do in terms of how this can pay off in the long run for a small business owner. Well, it is interesting. It's just, what is it, 80% kind mm -hmm. of at least are taking the environment and these energy issues into account? Into in account. Way. Right, and, and about 26% described it as a major consideration, uh, and uh, about uh, half said sort of a minor to, you know, a, just a, a consideration in the way they do it. So I think they're, again, maybe on the leading edge, but there's a recognition that it's important, uh, and maybe even hints of a recognition that this is something that can pay off for their business but they're not quite sure how it will directly affect their bottom line yet. And I think you see that playing back in terms of the ideas of incentives and credits and, and other types of programs like okay. that. Well, as, as you continue to do these surveys in the, in the months and year to come, it'll be interesting to see how these sentiments shift with Definitely. the economic and environmental fortunes. Great. Thank you very Bob much. Thank Good you. To see you again. And next up, weathering the storm of a softening economy. Stay with us.